Shadow Communications Minister Sarah Henderson is from a footy-loving region around Geelong and Bellarine. She joins us in the studio now. Welcome, Sarah. This statement from Michelle Rowland on AFL Media Rights is, to the best of our knowledge, somewhat unprecedented. Do you uh, support the sentiment of it or even the fact of, of its being issued? Well, Greg, great to join you. And firstly, can I say go Cats? Uh, really <laughs> hoping for a premiership this year. Uh, look, I have to say the Minister's statement is unprecedented because it looks like she's in opposition. Uh, the bottom line is Australians need to know that major sporting and cultural events will be protected. They will be able to see it free to air. So rather than issue a press release, she should be laying down the law. What is the Albanese government going to do? So frankly, from, from my perspective, this is really not good enough. It creates a lot of uncertainty and we don't govern by a press release. Does it speak to some apprehended fear and w do you share that fear that whatever's being cooked up in these private commercial negotiations may seek to diminish the amount of free-to-air television viewing of AFL that we're currently used to? Well, Greg, um, currently, um, of course, the anti-siphoning list prohibits uh, subscription television services like Foxtel, but not the big global streamers and other streaming services, as well as online content platforms. So what I was expecting the Minister should have said today is, uh, we won't allow these games, uh, these very valuable games, uh, including with the AFL, to sit behind a paywall. Um, that's what she should have said. There is an exemption at the moment. That does need to be so, as I say, it is very disappointing. We've seen so many reviews from Michelle Rowland. Uh, it appears she's had um, some nine years in opposition to work out uh, what her policies are, and yet she seems to be just rolling out the reviews rather than giving Australians the certainty they deserve. I imagine if she was here or anyone from the government was here at present, they'd be putting it back on you and saying, well, equally, you had nine years to bolster or strengthen the anti-siphoning list in anticipation of the next round of rights deals, whether it be in AFL or, or NRL or whatever, why is that not a valid question? Well, that's exactly what we did, but we're not in government anymore and we are expecting and we Australians do need to know that they will uh, get their AFL coverage on free-to-air television. Uh, we want to make sure that Australian voices on Australian television are protected and uh, Michelle Rowland needs to really do her job uh, and do a lot more than what she's done today, Greg, which is just to issue a media release.